Huff went out, um, had a shoulder returned. Um, the spotter put him in the tent, but he was fine with that. Uh, Greenlay had a ca um, Greenlaw had a calf. Um, went for a little bit, ended up not finishing. And Demo had a stinger. He returned. Go ahead. Kyle, for you, what was the most disappointing part of the performance from your team today? Um, I thought the stuff that I mean, you know, that's a good team. You know, they're going to make some big plays. But I thought the, the most frustrating thing was the spots we hurt ourselves. You know, um, in that first half, some of the. The false starts that we had on offense, um, lining up in the neutral zone on defense. Um, for us to have that false start on the field goal, um, I was obviously so excited because they muffed the pump the punt the next time. Um, but for us to have a turnover there was um, a real big mistake. Um, ended up help being all right when they missed that field goal. Um, we talked about some of that stuff at halftime. We come out, give up a huge kick return, and um, then have a really stupid penalty to add 15 yards to the end of it. Um, those are the things that disappoint me the most. First half, you guys were inside there 33 five times and only had one touchdown. Against a team like that, how hard is that to overcome? To come no, extremely hard. Yeah, extremely hard, and um, especially when we're not, uh, we didn't slow them down in the second half. You, know, you, had fourth, you had a fourth and three and a fourth and seven. Did you consider going for either of those instead of the field goal? Um, the fourth and three was the first drive. No, did not consider it. When was the fourth and seven? Yeah, no, didn't didn't consider. The team is built on the defensive foundation. We know how well they've played. Is it a little bit of shock to see them give up more than 500 yards? Just see an offense just go up and down the field against them? Um, yeah, it's disappointing. I think we're better than that. Um, you know, they had some pretty big plays where it seemed like there was a lot of space. Um, I got to look really at the film, see what happened. But um, yeah, that was disappointing. I believe we're better than that. 21-16 game midway through the third quarter. Why do you think things got out of hand late? Um. I mean, I think it was the, they went down on a huge score. I think they had a third and 20. Um, if I can go right, they opened up scoring. I thought we did a good job answering right away. I thought we had our best drive there on the offensive first possession in the third quarter. Um, then I believe they, we got them in a third and 20 the next time. And they had a 34 yard screen pass, which um, was unacceptable. Uh, they went down and scored. Um, I believe then um, I thought the part that got out of the hand the most was we had a pretty good kickoff return. We had a holding call that put us back inside the five and ended up going three and out there with the safety. And then they made some big plays after that. Chris, what do you think of the energy level being on the East Coast coming back? That's been a problematic game for you in the past. Uh, yeah, I didn't notice anything wrong with energy. Christian opened with a 10-yard run and a 9-yard run. looked like he was kind of going to make a sudden impact. How did he... Today. I thought he did a good job. I mean, it was just impressive that he um, understood everything we were asking him to do. I don't think he made any mistakes in the game and um, was able to um, make some pretty good plays, too. You said you wanted to watch the film, but is there anything you could point your finger to as commonalities when it comes to those third downs that, that you guys allowed on the big, the, the big plays in particular? Yeah, I mean, we knew going in how big of a challenge it'd be. I mean, that's why they're, I think they were second in the league in third downs, you know, one of the best quarterbacks ever for a third down situation. Um, didn't seem like we got a lot of pressure on them from what I saw. Um, when we had them in the longer yardages, you try hard to keep them in the pocket so they can't get the off schedules. Um, but they were still able to get a big off schedule, it looked like, especially one down the field, I, don't know, I think, on that post throw. Um, and then when um, you give up a screen, that gives them an easy one. Um, that adds up. Okay, how many plays did McCaffrey basically have available to him in this game? Um, I mean, gave him like 20 plays, something like that. Uh, I thought he came out pretty good. I thought he struggled um, at times, you know, just a few plays that he'd love to take back, especially that interception there at the end of the second quarter, um, you know, the safety there at the end. Um, but it, was, it wasn't him more than anyone else. We all had our, our moments. Well, you, and, you and John said Friday, you know, getting McCaffrey doesn't like cure everything, whatever was going on in the first six games. And I guess just today kind of hammer home that point. I'm like, even I mean, he is more available. I mean, there's just stuff to clean up. On. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we got to play better football. We, I think we, um, we have some opportunities where we made some pretty big plays and stuff on both sides of the ball. Uh, I thought that also happened today. Um, but then we had some plays where I thought we had some opportunities and we didn't do well, especially on some self-inflicted things, um, which I think went in all three phases. So uh, regardless of the players we've added, we have good players, I believe, and I believe we added another one. But we got to play better to take advantage of that. Well, Christian had quite a few plays in the field in the first half. Did you expect to use him more in the second, which is just situation, the score, and the way the game 
I mean, especially there in the fourth quarter when we were in two minutes and stuff a lot. Um, some of the protection stuff he hasn't been through. I um, just thought it was unfair to him. What would you have preferred Jimmy to do instead of obviously throwing the pick? Is, is it to take the sack there or try throwing it away? Uh, yes, to either. Yeah, they got us in a zero blitz and um, can get rid of the ball or take the sack. Yeah, there's been a lot of self-inflicted wounds throughout the season. What can you do to help eliminate those? Uh, you just keep holding people accountable. You keep coaching, and people got to focus and keep working to get better. I mean, it's there's no magical answer. Uh, that's what we do throughout the week. We coach, and those guys work, and that's what we got to keep doing. Kyle, every season is unique to itself, but does this one feel like last year at all in terms of the slow start a year ago? What's going on right now? Um, I think in terms of that, possibly, but, um, you know, just – not having a winning record at this time and things like that, you can look to last year and um, know what we got to. You know, we know what we got to do to fix that. Um, but I feel that's the only comparison. Is, uh, is Aziz a possibility coming back after the bye? Um, I don't think right after the bye. I think he's got a couple more weeks on that. Him and Elijah kind of had the same injury. I just think Elijah's a couple weeks ahead of him. You anticipate activating Jason Brett this week? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a significant amount of accountability in regards to the self-inflicted wounds. What's that? You feel like there's a lot of accountability amongst your players for... Yeah, I think our guys are real good with that stuff. I mean, we always have hard Mondays, and um, we don't really shy over anything around here. I think the guys are used to it, and guys being accountable in our building with each other has never been an issue. How do you think Jimmy Ward played in, in nickel and just overall, that combination with, with Gibson playing free safety? So how do you think that makes work I'm not sure. I mean, we didn't play that well as a group, but um, I'd have to watch the tape. You know, that's just a little too detailed of things between those two guys. You said 20 plays for Christian. How quickly can he expand? Now they're going to have a full week with him. How, how quickly can he get up to it? Uh, he'll learn the whole game plan for next week. Take two more. Uh, Brandon Ayuk's had a couple good games for you. What's the biggest progression you've seen in him? And his development since last year? Um, just I think he keeps getting better each year. I mean, I think it was documented the work he put in this offseason um, and it's carrying over to the season. I think um, these last two weeks, you know, I thought he had his best game versus Atlanta um, just from all the plays and stuff. I'll see when we watch the tape here, but um, B.A.'s continuing to get better. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys.